The beautiful thing about art is that words are very limited. And I can look at a Van Gogh painting, and even though I don't speak Dutch, like I have a, an emotional response to that painting. I could stare at Starry Night for hours. Um, in the same way with music, I listen to a lot of international music, French music, I love it. I don't understand it, but there's just something that just speaks to my soul that shows that I'm more connected to the world, the people in the world than I realized. And so for me, when I would paint was when I was really sick. I painted almost every single day. And it was because I didn't have the words to express the isolation and loneliness and sadness I was carrying in my body. Um, but painting was a way to step outside of the pain. Just like the story of Frida Kahlo, she didn't actually start doing artwork until she broke her back and was paralyzed in bed, really, and having a bunch of miscarriages. Um, and that's when the, the art came out of her. My question has been lately that a lot of people that I really respect and love their work struggle with health issues. And why does pain have to be so involved in the arts? Why, why do the people who are doing the most beautiful things have to suffer so much? Why are the kindest people, the people who came from families where they never knew real love? Um, so that's my question is like, less about um, how is art missional, but more about why does art have to come with so much pain at times? And I guess if I think of missional in a grander scheme, to look at the the painting of a starry night, I can sent like I under like I can see the sickness in Van Gogh. When I look at Frida Kahlo's um, paintings of her miscarriages, I can I feel this sense of empathy for her loss, and I don't even speak Spanish, and so she is telling me a story that I understand, even though we're in she's dead <laughs> and I'm alive and she was from another time like long before I was even born and yet I have this connection to her work so when I make music I've had atheists tell me that they feel connected to my music and I am singing the testimony of my experience as a follower of Jesus which sometimes Jesus's name will be in there. And sometimes it's like a Psalm where you're not saying God's name at all. Um, and that's okay because my heart is leaning and facing towards the Lord. And there can be people right next to the Lord in physical um, relation, relational spaces. I don't even know what I'm saying. There can be people like, Proximity. Judas, yeah. yeah, proximity to yeah. the Lord, and their hearts are turned far away. Yeah. And then there can be people way on the outskirts, and their hearts are leaning towards Jesus. And I don't know how that works, but what I've seen in doing music is that people will connect to my songs because I think it's more of a human thing, more of, I'm going to save these people because I had a revelation five years ago that I wasn't being called to save people. I was just being called to sing over them. And I don't know what God's going to do with that. That's not my responsibility. It's just like, sing over them. I don't know what the Lord's up to. I just said yes.